The fix-it functionality was introduced in an earlier version of Oxygen, and that was where the compiler could detect certain classes of syntax errors, warnings, or other errors in your code that it knew how to fix, and it would give you a single-click option to fix those errors. We've taken fix-it to the next level, though, in the latest version of Oxygen. Let me show you. So I have some code here. I'm going to go ahead and hit Build. And it's giving me warnings on all these lines here, saying case for identifier does not match original case. So this is just telling me there's the case is wrong. Now, just like Pascal, Oxygen's not case-sensitive language. But we're all professional developers. We want to be consistent in our code. We want our code to reflect our professionalism. And so we want it to use consistent casing. So we could use the existing fix-it functionality and just click one of these and say adjust the case for to match string and fix that one line and then fix the next line and then fix the next line. Or if you're paying attention here, you notice there's a new option here. Enable auto fix for W0. W0 is warning zero. That's the compiler code for this particular warning. So if I enable this, then it's going to automatically fix that next time I hit build. So watch here, all these identifiers are gonna magically become uppercase. Now it still gave me the warnings down below telling me it fixed them, so I know what's going on. Nothing's happening behind my back, but now it's fixing those for me automatically. And if I come in here and add a new one, var 01 object and hit build, it fixed it for me automatically. So now going forward in the future, all my case will be cases will be correct on my identifiers. So my code will reflect my professionalism. Now we didn't stop there. I'm coming down here and I'm gonna add a new line. Console dot. Now you notice I'm missing the E on console, but that's okay because the compiler figures out, has a spell checker in there, figures I'm probably meant console. So it's gonna come up here and give me the option to have code completion here. So I'm gonna add read key, but watch what happens when I hit build. So that was the old existing fix it functionality is that it gave me code completion here and if I hit un hit click this, it gives me the option to replace console with the console with the E on the end. Okay, so that's nothing new there. But what's new, and I'll show you here, is under options, if I come here to projects and solutions, oxygen, fix it, this checkbox here, treat fixable errors as warnings. If I check that, and then come in here and hit OK, I'm going to hit build, so I haven't changed my code, I'm still missing the E, and I'm going to hit run. And it's gone ahead and ran my code. And you notice here, it says unknown identifier on console still. So it's still reporting it as a, a warning. So now I can run my code. I can be in the groove, write in code. It doesn't matter if I make a simple spelling mistake. When I hit run, if it knows how to fix it, which there's a lot of errors it knows how to fix now, it will let you run that. And then later, while this is running and I haven't gone out of the groove, I can come back and click that and say replace console with an E. And now my code is syntactically correct and will still run. So this is a great way for you to stay in the groove once you get in the groove writing code and not have to jump back out and fix simple little errors all the time. So another great performance improvement to Oxygen through the fix it functionality.